this shirt right here. This shirt is very appropriate for what I am about to do. Today, we are going to be testing this guy. Now, what is this? This is the brand new Hyperlite Floss 3 hybrid frame. I just got this thing built. And this is also my first 6S build. So, uh, I've never done 6S before. I've done everything that you need to do to make sure this thing can theoretically run on 6S. But again, I haven't tested it yet, so that's what I'm here to do today. Uh, for electronics, I'm running the JB F4 and um, 4 in 1 ESC, 4 in 1 ESC combo. I've got a big old um, 35 volt 1000 UF uh, capacitor on there. However, I have concerns about this frame. Number one, the, okay, not the frame itself, but with the electronics, mainly the motors. These are the, the brand new Emacs Eco 2306 1700 kV motors. And I have concerns with these because I was watching another guy, uh, I think his name is Goose from uh, Newbie Drone. He was running these motors at a race and like he, he like clipped a gate or something and they kind of broke really easily. So, doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence because I want this thing to be robust and affordable. And also something else that is not good are these batteries. These are the Tattoo 1300 milliamp hour 6S packs. I do not recommend this battery whatsoever. I picked up three of them from Race Tech Quads and just one of the cells was just dead outright. It had, had like zero voltage. This particular battery right here one of its cells was like like 10 like 0.10 volts lower than all of the other ones. And of the three batteries, only one of them ended up working correctly. So yeah, I don't recommend these. I'm never gonna buy these again. The the Tattoo 1300 uh, Forest batteries are great. They're fantastic. So Tattoo, what? Why? Why are they bad out of the box? I mean, come on, that's unacceptable. So anyway. I'm gonna get this thing set up and we're gonna go for a test hover. Okay, so I'm not gonna fly FPV yet. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hover test this thing for 30 seconds and make sure that it doesn't just explode and fall out of the sky. That's my, this is the first test I do every time I build a new rig. I, I'll send it up for about 30 seconds, just test hovering it, make sure nothing's wrong. And then uh, for once it passes that test, the next test is just to fly it around hard for a minute and a half try to push the electronics to the harshest extreme that I can. If nothing gives out and everything works properly, then I'm satisfied. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. Plugging her in. Okay. okay. So far, nothing has exploded. Life is good so far. Okay. All right, his arms, I'm gonna move the, the battery lead pigtail out of the way, just kinda tuck it down. Now let's see if she'll test hover, without exploding, might I add. Quiet. Dang, that is stable, look at that. I'm not even touching the throttle. My hands are completely off. It's just hovering there, like no tomorrow. It's rusty. I'll give it that. I don't. I just have my. I forget what rate profile I have on this thing right now. All right. All right, so the hover test went pretty darn well, I'm not gonna lie. Motors, not even warm at all. ESC is fine. Everything is okay. VTX is working. Um, yeah, so let's go get the goggles and we'll go in and we'll FPV it.
is right with the world. Um, let's talk about the frame itself. This is the first stretched X frame that I have owned. Ah! Okay. So I guess I'm officially a vlogger because I had, because I have this thing set up on a bendy tripod and it just decided to take nature's ground downward express called uh, gravity and I had to very quickly grab it. So, um, hooray for me. Anyway, back to the frame. From what I can tell right now, it's pretty dang good. It flies on rails. It, I haven't tried acro on this thing yet, obviously, because this is only like my second flight of it, but it, it locked. It, it wants to go around corners very well. Like, like when I take a turn, it felt like it just, it was just on, it was just on rails. After I race it and let some other people try out this quad, um, I'll let you know how that goes. I want to touch on why this frame is called the hybrid. The reason why this is called the Floss 3 hybrid is because these back arms, these are actually arms designed for six inch props. And these front arms right here, these are for five inch props. And what I'm told is the reason why people are why people are starting to go to a six inch arm in the back and a five inch arm in the front is because it gets the back props out of the dirty air of the front prop. Before I finish talking about this thing, let me go over the parts of everything that I'm using in it. So obviously, floss floss three hybrid frame with this nylon canopy, TBS. Um, Triumph stubby, but I'm going to be switching this out for the Lumineer Axie stubby. Uh, Mach 3 VTX XM Plus receiver. J Joshua Bardwell F4 flight controller. Joshua Bardwell 4-in-1 ESC. Emax uh, 2306 1700 kV motors. The camera is a uh, Foxier Aero Pro. And what else? Uh, battery. This is the Tattoo 75C 1300 milliamp hour 6S packs. I don't recommend these just because, um, again, I got two of them that were basically duds. So yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna invest in some China Hobby Line batteries. Last but not least are the props. These are the HQ5 by 4.5 by 3 V1S props. Um, I also have some 4.8s. Um, so just to kind of experiment and play around with. So now that all of that's kind of out of the way, I've got a bunch of freestyle packs. So let's go fly some freestyle. 